All right, that's it. That's that's all. That's all she wrote. Let's stop the camera, Haley. Hello fellow Drops fans, fans of fellow and fans of coffee everywhere. My name is Haley. I am your local resident Q grader coming at you live from the San Francisco store in Playground. I'm here to talk to you about an amazing coffee from Brooklyn, New York today. This is from Parlor Coffee. It's a washed Columbia Alturas de Bosaco. Um, it's super, super delicious and I'm gonna let you know how we are brewing it up today. Also, I've noticed a lot of folks in the comments have been asking about the amount of time I typically spend pouring, right? So like the length of pours. I generally try to pour 100 grams in 10 seconds. Now, sometimes I'm at 11 or maybe even 12 seconds. It's not a total exact science um, for me, but I like to stick around 10 to eliminate the variable um, in flow rate, right? So. What I'm doing for this one, standard 22 grams of coffee in to 350 grams out. I ground at four on Ode with my Gen 2 burrs. If you're Ode Gen 1, I'd probably go in the two to three range. Um, and if you are Ode with SSP, I would probably go around five. I am pouring twice the amount of water as coffee in for the bloom. So right up to about 44 grams. If you go a little bit over, not a huge deal. I just wouldn't go too, too far over. Um, and then the consecutive pours, right? I'm going 100 grams up to 150 grams total, then up to 250 total, then finishing at 350 total. Again, I'm trying to keep each pour to about 10 seconds, right? Um, I broke bloom also at 35 seconds. So right in the middle of the 30 to 40 second range I typically use. I'm also going to give this coffee a gentle agitation at the very end. I'm gonna do three swirls, just about. Not too aggressive at all, just getting that a little bit extra out of this washed Columbia, which is tasting really, really delicious and complex to us. Um, just pushing a little bit more of that structure out into the cup. What we're tasting, I'm gonna get into it, is clarity, balance, lots of structure, cranberry and dried apricot, maybe a tiny, tiny bit of caramel. Um, and overall, just like this buttery, smooth, silky body and like tactile. Let us know what you're getting out of it too, because coffee is incredibly subjective, right? You could be tasting something completely different than we are and it's not wrong or, you know, there's no incorrect way to taste coffee. All right, so gentle, quick one, two, three, as you just saw and my coffee's gonna finish dripping and I'm gonna get ready to drink it. Um, but as always, remember, it's really, really easy to order from fellow drops. All you gotta do is text us back a number of bags that you would like, one, two, five, however many, um, and we will send you coffee. But if you don't text us back, we won't charge you, won't send you coffee, no harm, no foul. We'll send you the text next week, see if you like the next coffee, or see if you would rather order the next coffee. Um, Thank you so much for joining me here today. Also remember to look at your bed of grounds and make sure it's flat and even after you're done with your pour. You'll generally know um, where to concentrate, right? If you're not swirling, if you are swirling, then it should look pretty perfectly flat and even, right? Also, as I'm enjoying this coffee, I would like to mention again, Stag EKG Pro is launched. You can go get it, it will ship to you from our website, come down to the store, pick one up. We've got them in store as well. It's super cool. There's so many different features that are like life, life changing, right? We're changing up the kettle game. You can schedule the time for the kettle to turn on. So when you wake up in the morning, you walk out, your kettle's already hot for you. Um, there's a chime feature. So you know when it finishes and reaches the temperature you set. There's pre-boil to sanitize the water at boil and then bring it down to the temperature that you already set. I mean, amongst many other things, and I think my personal favorite part about our new software in EKG Pro and Pro Studio is that it is updatable, right? So much like your phone or computer or whatever, when we update the software, we will be able to push it out to you and update your kettle as we go along. So not only did the icon itself evolve, right? Stag EKG evolved, um, but it will continue to evolve. So this is a piece of equipment that'll be with you for a long time. Um, yeah, 
And thank you so much, guys, again, for being here. Uh, we'll be back next week with a new Brewguide video. Let us know what you think in the comments. And go check out Staggy KG Pro. Thanks. <laughs>